Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to run a WordPress website on localhost using XAMPP. So there are seven steps and make sure to follow every single one. Step number one is to download and install XAMPP. So go to the XAMPP website and download the appropriate version for your operating system. Then run the installer and follow the setup wizard to install XAMPP on your computer. Then during installation, choose the components you want to install. Make sure Apache and MySQL are selected. Then once installed, launch XAMPP and the control panel will open. Step number two is to start XAMPP and test the connection. So in the XAMPP control panel, start Apache and MySQL by clicking the start button next to both. Then open a browser and type HTTP localhost into the address bar. If XAMPP is working properly, you should see the XAMPP welcome page. Then step number three is to create a database for WordPress. So in your browser, go to HTTP localhost forward slash PHP MyAdmin to access PHP MyAdmin. Click the databases tab at the top of the page. Then create a new database by entering a name, for example, WordPress. And then select UTF-8 underscore general underscore CI as the collation. Then click on create. Then step number four is to download and install WordPress. So go to the WordPress website and download the latest version of WordPress. Extract the downloaded WordPress zip file and navigate to your XAMPP installation folder. Usually see XAMPP on Windows and open the htdocs folder. Then inside htdocs, create a new folder such as my WordPress website. Then copy all the extracted WordPress files into this folder. Then step number five is to configure WordPress. So in your browser, go to HTTP localhost forward slash my WordPress site. You will be taken to the WordPress setup screen. Then select your language and click continue. On the next screen, you will be prompted to enter your database credentials. So the database name, enter the name of the database you created earlier, for example, WordPress. Then for the username, root, password, leave it blank, database host, localhost, and table prefix, wp underscore. Then click submit and run the installation. Step number six is to complete the WordPress installation. So enter the details for your WordPress site, such as the site title, username, password, and email address. Then click install WordPress. And then once the installation is complete, you will see a success message. So click login to access your WordPress dashboard. Now the seventh and final step is to start building your WordPress website. You can now log into your WordPress dashboard using the credentials you created. Then to create a new page, go to pages and then add new. You can use the block editor to design your page and publish it. You can view your site by going to HTTP localhost forward slash my WordPress site. Summary. You have successfully installed XAMPP, created a local database and set up WordPress on localhost. Your WordPress site will only be accessible locally. So no one else can view it online unless you upload it to a live server. So now you know how to run a WordPress website on localhost XAMPP. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.